First day of the work week, it'll be chilly. Here are the winds right now coming out of the west, and we're going to see a turn out of the northwest as that happens. That wind speeds will pick up just a little bit, and it'll feel chilly throughout the afternoon as our temperatures continue to go into the upper 40s later on. All right, humidity is at 68 percent. Pressure is calm, and uh, pressures on the horizon. Winds are calm. Uh, we'll see the wind speeds as high as 20, 25 miles an hour later this afternoon. Normal high is 38. The record is 72, set back in 2007, and sunrise time officially at 720 this morning. So we're expecting sunny skies, but there are a few lake effect snow showers in upstate New York. And so we've been sort of keeping our eye on this to see if any of these uh, streamers could sort of sneak into our area. At best, we could get a sprinkle or a flurry coming into the northern counties. You see how close uh, these streamers get as they come across Binghamton. They get a little bit closer into parts of northwest New Jersey and Sullivan, Ulster, Duster, Dutchess County in New York. Those are the places that could potentially see a little bit of that. Other than that, dry skies until Monday night. We'll cloud up real quick on Monday afternoon under cold conditions, just mid-30s expected. And then the rain and snow combination begins late on Monday night. By Tuesday morning, it all changes to rain, and we've got showers across the area with temperatures closing in on 50 degrees. But before that happens, here's the snowfall map for the next 48 hours. Again, lake effect snow. Tries to sneak into Sullivan, uh, Ulster, Dutchess County. But by the time we get into Monday night into Tuesday, we could have a light coating Monday night. If you're doing any traveling Monday night to early Tuesday, be aware of this. But by Tuesday at dawn, everything changes to rain. It's washed away real quick. So a high of 47, a low of 25. So chilly tonight, setting the stage for the sub-freezing temperatures and cold day that we've got on tap for Monday. We can make it to 35 in the city, but a lot of folks will be stuck at 32 degrees. Here's a look at the AccuWeather 7-day. It's a damp start on Tuesday. The afternoon is dry. We're near 50. Then temperatures are in the low 40s with a brief shower on Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, 36. It's cold on Friday with 33 degrees. And then even into next weekend, our temperatures are looking a lot more like a typical January forecast would. Yeah, it was coming. We knew it. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Enjoy so, today while it lasts. All right. Oh, we will. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thanks. Seems. A young man and a woman, this is pretty special, forged a friendship forever after they each underwent extremely rare triple transplant surgeries. Wait to hear about this in the same hospital within 30 hours of one another. Sarah McFarlane is from suburban Detroit. Darus